Hello, my name's Miss Kina, and welcome to my channel. Have you all been very good this year? Well, I have a story for you by Clement C. Moore, The Night Before Christmas, illustrated by Kathy Wilburn. Now let's get started. The Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore and Kathy Wilburn. "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house "'not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. "'The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, "'in hopes that St. Nicholas will soon be there. "'The children were nestled all snug in their beds, "'while visions of sugar-plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter I sprang from my bed to see what's the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of new-fallen snow gave luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sled and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his curses they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when we meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the curses they flew, with a sled full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a reef. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly.
He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I have nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sled, to the team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all! And to all a good night. The end. I hope you all enjoy the classic Christmas tale, The Night Before Christmas by Clement Seymour. No matter what holiday your family celebrates, I wish you all a safe and peaceful holiday. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's from my family to yours. And thank you for joining me today. Please share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more fun and lovely stories. And leave a comment down below. Look out for the next story with Miss Skeena's bookshelves. And if you get a chance, check out my other stories from 2018. Bye-bye.